We're doing regular talking. What do you what do you This want? is my son Scott. Hello. He lives up in S S Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Saskatoon, I, I Saskatchewan. I would hate to have to write that on my envelopes all the time. I'd have to get printed labels. Saskatoon's not so bad. It's written just like it's spelled. In Saskatchewan, well, it's like Schwarzenegger. Technically written like it's spelled, but you kind of go <coughs> halfway through. So, you know, you get there in the end. How big is it? Is it a tiny town or a big town? Saskatoon? Yeah. 300,000 people about. It's, um, well, how many people are familiar with St. Louis? Because that's what I compare it to, hey? It's, um, a, it's a good size. St. Town. Louis is three million people, right? Chicago's I don't know five, six but maybe. For people that don't know how big St. Louis, it's just a good sized town. Oh yeah, no, it's a good sized town. You got an interstate or inner province, maybe. And as you have said, that you can get pretty much anywhere in town within fifteen minutes. That is the nice thing. It is about that size that you're you drive fifteen minutes, so you can get anywhere you need to go. And they're, they have a really nice market on, what is it, on, on the weekend, the market? What's that, the farmer's market? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, you get the, well, okay, uh, so Saskatoon is the largest city in Saskatchewan, even though it's not the capital. A lot of people from the States will understand that the capital is never your greatest city. Take, uh... New York. Well, take, Jefferson City is the capital of yeah, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri, Jefferson City, shit. Cuss on this? No cussing. Mom will bleep that out. Okay. But, um, so, okay. Not a... a it's a bleep hole, all right? Okay, and then you got St. Louis, which is a great city. Look at California, of which the capital is... Sacramento. Of course, I knew that. My American geography never failed. Hey, we're Jeopardy wizards, you know. Yeah, exactly. Versus L.A., right? Or, uh, um... Albany, New York. Thank instead you. Instead of New York oh, City. Man. Albany... It was a Dutch settlement. Oh, yeah, the Dutch. The Dutch are fantastic. Whatever. They're very clean. I, that is <laughs> not what I would say I know the Dutch for, but all right, yeah, sure. The scrubby Dutch? The scrubby Dutch? The scrubbing Dutchman? That, no. is, that is a stereotype of Dutch people that they're very clean and they, they really? wash their porch off and everything, yeah. I wash my porch. I don't get that reputation. I get a reputation for being a naked hair in a hat. You're not naked. I don't know where that comes from. You're not naked, you're wearing a hat. That's true. The hat makes me non-nude. Also underwear for the PG NC-17 rating we have right here. Can you digitally add I don't know how to do that. Okay, I, I well don't. just picture an NC-17 right here for language, sexual content, alcohol consumption, um, and smart cynicism. Ass. And smartass. Oh, yeah, and sarcasm, because I grew up under this lady, and if you watch this lady, then you know, right? <laughs> like I said, the nut doesn't fall far from the tree. And God knows we're both nuts. Good Lord. But, um, no, Saskatoon's great, but you got to understand that in the Canadian prairies, it's, I don't want to say worse, but it's worse than the American Midwest. You leave outside of town, it's straight wheat. So, I mean, the joke up north, man, is that uh, I can watch my dog run away for three days. It's so flat. The glaciers came down. They flattened the whole damn thing out, right? We would like to know the difference between A and hay. Now, Canadians oh, sometimes or often end their sentence with A or hay. Sorry. Sorry. When I'm drinking and speaking quickly, I can uh, fall into a Canadian accent. I was, of course, not raised Canadian. I am no, American. you didn't say it. I'm just no, bringing I know. it up. No, I know. Oh, you're making it up? I'm bringing it up. Oh, bringing it up. If as you're on far the east side know, of Can Canada... Oh, man. the When you guys think of the stereotypical Canadian accent, Oh, how you doing, you hoser? Let's go, boys. Oh, right on, bud. You know, uh, that sort of accent. That's what it's all about, sort of thing. That's typically east coast. You're looking at Newfoundland, even though it's spelled Newfoundland. I don't know. Don't ask. Um, Nova Scotia, kind of New Brunswick. That's the east coast. And it, it was very interesting because I ran into the whole American English versus, versus British English, right? And uh, even though I grew up with some uh, modicum of exposure to uh, British English uh, from TV, you know, <laughs> my generation, yay! Um, but, uh, you know, and even still I ran into situations where it's like, you know, the guy's talking to me and I'm just like, yeah! No, man, I understand French better than what you just said to me. I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. 
That being said, I also ran into the standard run of the mill, you know. Oh, how are, hello, how are you, dear? I'm doing well. Oh, you have a, you don't have an accent. Or, you know, in England, you do have an accent. You know, you must be from the States, across the pond. <laughs> sort of thing, you know. And everyone's very pleasant, and there's little trays of cookies everywhere. And you have tea, like, eight times a day. It's great. You know, and, uh... Um, As you can tell, it's a blast when we get nutty around here. Oh, man. I'm great at parties, but about ten minutes after everyone else leaves, you're like, what the hell is this guy still doing here? And... God bless my wife. She tolerates me. Can you believe it? I'm going to end this one because it's getting kind of long. We'll, we'll do another one. Yeah, sorry. You can do a series if you want. I'm gonna, I got like three more of these, so, you know, let's go. <laughs> Take care. And, uh, even though I grew up with some uh, modicum of exposure to uh, British English uh, from TV, you know, <laughs> my generation, yay! Um, but, uh, you know, and even still I ran into situations where it's like, you know, the guy's talking to me and I'm just like, yeah. No, man, I understand French better than what you just said to me. I have no clue what the hell you're talking about. That being said, I also ran into the standard run of the mill, you know. Oh, how are, hello, how are you, dear? I'm doing well. Oh, you, have a, you don't have an accent. Or, you know, in England, you do have an accent. You know, you must be from... The States, across the pond, <laughs> sort of thing, you know, and everyone's very pleasant, and there's little trays of cookies everywhere, and you have tea, like, eight times a day, it's great, you know, and, uh... Um, As you can tell, it's a blast when we get nutty around here. Oh, man, I'm great at parties, but about ten minutes after everyone else leaves, you're like, what the hell is this guy still doing here? And... God bless my wife. She tolerates me. Can you believe it? I'm going to end this one because it's getting kind of long. We'll do another one. Yeah, sorry. You can do a series if you want. I'm gonna, I got like three more of these, so, you know, let's go. <laughs> Take care.